Hello, good evening. What's going on with the rest of the students? Maybe they they thought we didn't have class today. Oh, there is Jose. Okay, we have four students so far. Hi. Okay, can everybody hear me? Yes. If they have something in my, in my head, so let me fix it. Okay, now, can everybody hear me? No? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, something is wrong with my... Okay, let's fix it here. It's resource. Now? Okay. Now yes, it's... teacher. <laughs> no, it's my, it was my microphone. It was... Okay. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hi, thank you, and you? Nice, nice. Everything has been nice for the whole day. So everything is good. Um, how was your weekend? What did you do over the weekend? I am staying home. Oh, you stay home. Ah, so that's yes. Good, like me. Well, um, actually on Saturday I went out, but I just went to the supermarket to get some food. Um, anybody else? What did you do over the weekend? The simple past questions. What did you do over the weekend? Let's see, Angel, what did you do over the weekend? Uh, I, I did uh, cooking. Oh, so you say, I cooked. I cooked. cooked. Uh -huh. What did cooked. you cook? Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? I cooked. Eh, I, I, I cooked eh, chicken with eh, champiñones. That's mushrooms. Ah, mushrooms. Eso. Chicken mushrooms. Chicken mushrooms. Chicken mushrooms. Okay. Good. That was good. Okay. Nice. So you are a chef. Okay. Um, Jose, like what, good. Jose, what did you do over the weekend? Uh, I, I uh, studied. You studied? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, you studied uh, in the English. Okay, good. That good. So you were studying the presentations I send you? Did you study the presentations uh, I send you? Casi no, no entiendo qué dice. Did you study the PowerPoint presentations that I send you? Ah, okay. Eh, 
Eh, I study a vocabulary. Oh, vocabulary. That's good. Uh, okay. That's good. Um, Carla, Carla Torrento, what did you do over the weekend? I did um it can um, mm, wait uh, well it's a lazy day for um uh, um mm -hmm. so you stay home and you sleep Yes, um, um <clears throat> also rest for my body. Okay, so you rest in bed or in a hammock? In bed. Oh, okay, that's um, good. Uh, for, uh, because... Um, because you were tired? I had been sick. Oh, you were sick. So you say, yes. I stay home because I was sick. Say it. Oh, I stay home because, because I, was I was sick. Sick. Okay, good. Okay, Rodrigo, what did you do over the weekend? I'm rested in my house. Oh, good. That's nice. Okay, so you didn't go out, you didn't do anything special? Mm, no. Okay. No, this, this weekend rested. Cool, that's nice. Okay, Daniel, what did you do over the weekend? I worked. Worked. I worked. Worked. As I worked. Oh, okay. So sorry. Sunday, um, Sunday. Sorry for you, man. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Um, Carla Cano, what did you do over the weekend? Um, well, I uh, work, sorry, sorry, I went to my work uh, on Friday and, and Saturday. I start to work at 9 a.m. until 6 p.m., I think, and, and I studied on English Corporativo uh, website on Sunday. On Sunday, okay, yeah. Okay, um, did you receive the, the PowerPoint presentations that I sent you? Yes, teacher. Good, good. Okay, very good. So, Gamaliel, what did you do over the weekend? Hi, teacher. Um, I spent the weekend in the, my house. Uh, caring for my my babies and because my wife has work and and that, and that. Yeah. so you say because my wife had to work simple past had to work tuvo que trabajar had. because my wife had to work had to work very good very good good noe what did you do over the weekend okay my okay. uh, i say home and I cleaned my house and also uh, I took a nap in the afternoon and, and maybe uh, later. Okay. okay, so you took a nap uh, and cleaned the house. Very good. Okay, guys. Yeah. So as you can see, we're going to finish uh, this module this week. So these are the four last days that we have for it. For it. Um, Inglés Corporativo was telling me to tell you to do paperwork for the next model. So, me dijo Inglés Corporativo que empiecen a hacer el papeleo para incorporarse al siguiente módulo. So, I don't know how to do that. No sé si eso ya lo hicieron. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah? No, teacher. When is the finish the... The model. This, this, yes. The model. This model we're going to finish on Thursday. This is section number five already. Remember that each model has five sections. And the last section is for week number four. So we're finishing this Thursday coming up. Terminamos este jueves que viene, okay? 
Thanks. Okay, good. Um, good. So as far as I know, um, English Corporativo has told me uh, to tell you that you have to do the paperwork for the next model. Eh, me dijo English Corporativo que tienen que hacer su eh, papeleo para el siguiente módulo. Eh, tiene que ser directamente con ellos. So, llámenles o no sé cómo los contactan ustedes, ¿ok? Oh, which paper for present and for English Corporativo? Uh, no sé, ustedes tienen el correo electrónico el, o, o, o la llamada o el número de teléfono, ¿no? Yes, I, I, I got it. Okay, okay. Uh, his, his, what can I say? Ellos. They, hey, they, hey. Uh, they send me a, a message, yes. email uh, for, um, uh, I, Yo tengo, ¿cómo se dice? I have, I have. I have, I have, I have sent my... Your paperwork, su papeleo. Paperwork, Su registro, yes. yeah. Good. Okay. Yes. So, if nobody do it, if nobody hands it, then maybe you can share with us in the, in the WhatsApp, okay? In the WhatsApp group. Si nadie lo tiene, puede compartir esa información en, en el grupo de WhatsApp, Okay. Y si no, um, otherwise, I'm going to try and get you that information. Uh, voy a hablar con inglés corporativo que me diga qué es lo que tienen que hacer y yo les aviso, ¿ok? Good. Oh, good. Okay, good. 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 because I want you to get everything straight and not to be left out. No quiero que nadie se quede fuera de, uh, del siguiente nivel, ¿ok? Okay. Okay, teacher. ¿Ah? En este caso, ¿por qué no envían la información a las empresas directamente y no a los estudiantes? Um, I have no idea. Um, actually, this is my first time working with English Corporativo. Eh, no tengo idea cómo hacen eso. De hecho, es mi primer, primera vez trabajando con, con English Corporativo. So, muchas, eh, muchas empresas um, trabajan de diferente forma. So, I don't know. Sorry. But, but I'm going to imply that. Pero voy a preguntar para ver qué, qué puedo hacer, ¿ok? Good. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're going to work today as usual. We're going to do some simple pass. And we're going to work on the simple pass. And we're going to go to English Corporativo to check what they have for you. And depending on that, I'm going to explain some things, okay? So let's do this. Let me check what, what is going on, okay? Let's see, let's go for the and I'm going to prepare, this is it. Okay, let me see, Principiante 3, yes. And section number five, here we go. Now let me share it with you guys. Okay, let me know when you see. I'm sharing the, everything with sound too. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, no, not that one. Where are you? Here it is. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Yes. So this is the first uh, topic that we need to check and is statements with the pass of fee. Remember last week I was telling you what is the meaning of a statement. Do you remember what is the, the meaning of a statement? Oh, alguien está muy cerca del televisor. Hay mucho ruido de, de un televisor, por favor. Anybody can hear that, right? Okay. Yes, I <laughs> yeah, I, I can hear the television. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay, so the statements of of the past of B. So I was telling you last last week what is the meaning of statements. Do you remember? What significa statements? Aseveraciones. Very good. Thank you very much. Sí, a la mayoría ya se les había olvidado. Remember, statements, aceleraciones, meaning things that are true, okay? Let's see. Okay. Pay attention. Yes? Uh, 
but you can mute the microphone. The uh, thing is the, that I want, I don't want to be rude. No me gusta ser um, mal educado en ese sentido. No me gusta, o sea, hacer eso porque es, eso es, that's rude. You know, in English, that's rude. En, en, en inglés eso es bien de mala educación. So, por eso okay, lo, lo digo. Sorry, sorry. Okay, um, everybody pay attention to this and then we're going to discuss, okay? Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this. It wasn't very good. So. Okay, um, Carla, you raised your hand. Vicky Carla levantó la mano. What happened? Not teacher. Don't worry. It's a mistake. <laughs> okay. No. It was. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Uh, sí. Sorry. Fue un error. Was a mistake. Okay. Um, good. So I want to check this conversation, and I want you to understand a hundred percent what is going on here. So the conversation is: I was born in Korea. Everybody, I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea. Korea. Yeah. Korea. Good. Good. So what what does that mean in Spanish? Que nació en Corea. Yo nací en Corea. Yo nací en Corea. And check out the question. Where were you born? Where were you born? You Everybody. Born? Where, 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 you where, born? where were you 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 born? Very good. So the question is, donde naciste? So let's, let, let's do a little bit of, of checking out with this question. So I'm going to start with... Oh, man. Come on. Move. Here it is. Okay. Uh, Ninette. So wait. Uh, let me give you an example. So because we're, we're not going to use countries. We're going to use departments here in El Salvador, right? For example, somebody asked me, hey, I'll see this. Where were you born? I'm going to say, I was born in San Miguel. Okay? Okay. Very good. So, uh, Ninette, where were you born? I, I, was, I was born in Santa Tecla. Very good. Ninette, ask Gamaliel. Okay. Gamaliel, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Very good. Gamaliel, ask Angel. Angel, where were you born? I was uh, born in San Salvador. Good. Ask Jose, please. Uh, Jose, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Good. Ask Daniel. Uh, Daniel, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Good. Ask Rodrigo. Rodrigo, where were you born? I was born in Sonsonate. Ask Carla Torrento, please. Okay, Carla Torrento, where were you born? I was born in Santana City. Good. Ask Jose. Uh, Jose, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Good. Ask Carla Cano, please. Carla Cano, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Very good. Nice. 
Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do for today is that we're going to practice this conversation. The conversation is between Chuck and Melissa. So one time, listen, one time you're going to be Chuck and then you're going to switch. You're going to be Melissa. So you need to, to practice both conversations, okay? Um, in, in both parts. Tiene que eh, practicar la conversación una vez siendo Chuck y la siguiente vez siendo Melissa, okay? Got it? Okay. Um, yes, teacher. Good. Can you, got it. Yeah. can you take a screenshot of it? Because I'm going to make groups. Can you take a screenshot of the conversation? Tomen un screenshot a la conversación, por favor. Okay. Got it? Got it. Everybody? Yes. Good. Yes. yes. So let's move on and let's make up the groups. Let's do some grouping. How many students we have? Let's see. Oh, ten, ten participants. So I'm going to do three groups. Three groups. Here we go. Okay. Remember, uh, do the conversation. One time you're going to be like, for example, one and one. Or wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me do this since we have two, three, five. I'm going to do five because. No, 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 I, let me do this again. It's five, 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 five. Five groups. Because I want you in pairs. There you go. Remember, one time you're going to be one person and the next time you're going to be another person. Go to your sessions, please. Okay, guys, start the conversation. Um, you can actually um, share your, 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 your image. Pueden compartir okay. la captura, okay? Okay. Ah. Okay, ah, okay, good. La, la comparto, la comparto. Yeah, share it. Esta. Good. Now, remember you're going to be Chuck one time and the next time you're going to be Melissa. Una vez usted va a ser Chuck y la siguiente vez se cambian, ¿ok? Ok. Go. Ok. Practice. Ok, José. Ahí uh, uh, está. Uh, uh, one. I came. I came. Came. No, I came. I came. I came. I came here. Came. Yes, I came. No. Is no, the, I the, came here. Uh, yes. In nineteen. In nineteen. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only seventeen. Did you go to college right right now? Right right away. No, my English was was not wasn't, very good. Wasn't, wasn't very good. My English wasn't very good. So I took English class. Classes. I took English classes. I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English. Thanks, your English is pretty good. Very good. Pretty, very good too. No, 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 very. Pretty, pretty good too. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good too. Yeah, when I was born here. Very good. Okay, now 
change uh, the actions. Ahora cambian los roles. Oh, alguien más. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. Continue. Okay, okay. Where well, were you were? Really good now. Hello. Hello. What happened? You're having trouble with the microphone. Oh? You're having trouble with the microphone? Oh. Uh, there you go. Okay, go. Oh. Hello. Okay. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, good. Now change places. Ahora comienzan los roles, okay? Okay. Good. Okay, okay. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were in Korea. Hmm? Okay. Uh, oh, so you were born in the U.S. No, I came here in 99. No, 1999. No. 1999. 19? No, I came here in 1999. 1999. No. 1999. 1999. Wait, listen, listen. I came okay. here in 1999. No, I came here in 1999. 99. Ninety-nine. Nine, mm. Ninety-nine. Okay, very good. Right. Mm. Okay. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years first. Classes, English classes, it's plural. English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah. Very good. But I was born. I was born here. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um. Cambiaron los roles. Ya lo hicieron los dos. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. 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 Let me check the other ones. Okay. Okay. So la, la pronunciación Okay, so everybody's back. Now, I noticed that some people are, are having trouble with um, pronunciation in simple past, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're going to go back to the conversation. I'm going to read it again. And then we're going to do something else. Let's see. Okay. Let's see here. 
here. This one is. Here we go. Okay. So I noticed that uh, some people are having trouble when they're saying 1999, 1999, and also having problems with the with the simple past of come. This is came. No, I came here in 1999. Okay. And the other one that I noticed, it was this one. Uh, it's pretty good too. It's pretty good too, okay? So the, for the rest, everything is good, but I noticed this, um, these two errors that you were making, okay? Um, questions about this conversation, guys? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay, now. Let's continue doing the next exercise, which is... So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Okay, um, remember what I said it was statements? What is the meaning of statements? Do you remember? Aseveraciones. 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 Very good, very good. Um, see, I keep on asking because it's very important. Se fijan, notan de que siempre lo estoy preguntando porque es muy importante que siempre lo recuerden, okay? Statements, statements, aseveraciones, okay? Very good. So, number one, let's do a little bit of this. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. Okay, let's do a little bit here. Uh, for example, I'm going to say, I was born in San Miguel. I wasn't born in Santana. Got it? Okay. Okay, so so one more time. I was born in San Miguel. I wasn't born in Santana. Now, let's go with the practice. Okay. Jose, you start. Okay. I was born in Korea. No, 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 no. Um, we're doing the Salvador. El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. No, 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 no. Listen, listen to my example. Listen to my example. I was born in San Miguel. I wasn't born in Usulután. Got it? I was born in San Miguel. I was born in Usulután. No, no, no. You, you, you're not understanding. Um, uh, where were you born, Jose? Uh, San Salvador. Okay, so you say, I was born in El Salvador, I wasn't born in Chalatenango, for example. So, lo que va a decir ah, okay. es, nací en tal lugar, pero no nací en tal lugar, ¿ya? Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, go. Okay. okay. I was born in San Salvador, I was born in San Miguel. Okay, Gamaliel. I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't born in La Unión. Ángel? I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't born in Morazán. Good. Uh, Daniel? Okay. I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't born in Santa Ana. I wasn't born in Santa Ana. One more time, please. I was, I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't in Santa Ana. Yeah. No, I wasn't born in Santa Ana. One more time, please. I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't. I wasn't born. I wasn't born in Santa Ana. Good. Okay. Okay, next is, let me see, what's going on here? 
Um, good. Carla Cano. Okay. I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't born in Aguachapan. Good. Ninez. I was born in Santa Tecla. I wasn't born in San Miguel. Good. Carla Torrento. I was born in Santa Ana. I wasn't born in Chalatenango. No, eh? No, eh? Okay, Rodrigo, then. I was born in San Salvador. I wasn't born in La Unión. Good. Very good. Okay, as you can see, we were doing this one, the first one, okay? So let's do s s something else, okay? Um, no, there, no, 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 no. Uh, okay, no. Let's see what, what, what's, what other thing to practice, okay? Let's see. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals okay. were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was. Finally, we will include a complement, born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, where. Finally, we will include a complement, born in the same year. Now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the US. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement, born in the US. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the US in 1998. First, we need to add the subject they. Then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, weren't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying were not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a complement in the US in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with be about yourself, friends, and family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, let's go back. Here we are. Okay, um, now that we already seen that, uh, we still have time for questions. 
and let me see something here. Um, I was checking that somebody had some questions about one activity in, in common. Anybody has problems doing one activity? Let me know so we can do it right now. We can, we can do it together. And I explain what happened uh, in there and what was the mistake. That's, I think somebody wrote me uh, earlier today uh, saying that they had problems with one activity. Anybody? No. Teacher. Yeah. I have a, a question. Yes. For example, if I tell a name, uh, a name's place uh, in Spanish, change the pronunciation, or I I have to say like English. For well, example, if I say San Salvador, tengo que escucharme así, San Salvador, o le tengo que poner pronunciación eh, en inglés. That depends, you know, eh, eso depende. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, yo tiendo a ponerle mi acento cuando hablo en español, porque como yo nací aquí en El Salvador, pero me fui, a, cuando tenía cuatro años, me fui a Estados Unidos, ahí estudié toda mi vida. O sea, todo... Es mejor, a mí me sale mejor hablar en, en, en inglés que en español. Entonces, pero mi, 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 mi acento es, es, es americano. So cuando yo hablo, yo digo, ah, San Miguel. Entonces se oye diferente que decir San Miguel. O San Salvador. Es diferente de decir San Salvador. ¿Sí me entiende? Ajá, esa pero, era mi pregunta. Por que eso si no... es correcto cambiarle el al idioma, por decirle así, ¿es, ¿es correcto siempre decir ambos? No, allí depende de usted. Si quiere, usted uh -huh. quiere sonar que de verdad sabe inglés, entonces cámbielo. Le puede decir, ah, oh, San Salvador. Uh, I'm from San Salvador. I'm from San Miguel. I'm from Santana. So, okay. you know, you change it in order for you to sound native. Esa es una forma de sonar nativo. De, de que diga, wow, sabe inglés. You know, that's the thing. Okay? Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Esta es la sección de preguntas. Es su, es su sección, chicos. Come on, shoot me. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher, uh, uh, what is the difference in pronunciations uh, when I say where, where, born in? Uh, there's no, no, uh, there's no definition or there's no difference. There's no difference. Where were you last night? Lo que va a ser la, la diferencia es el complemento. El contexto. Ah. Where were you last night? Y usted dice last night. Oh, es entonces pasado. ¿Dónde estuviste anoche? So that's why. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Thanks, thanks. So, siempre enfóquense en, en el complemento para, para ver si es en pasado o está hablando de otra cosa. ¿Sí? Ok, thanks, thanks. So, where were you last night? Oh, I was in a party last night. Or I was eating pupusas last night. Something like that, you know. Okay. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> Any, thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Come on, guys. Deben de tener muchas preguntas para mí. Come on. Remember that we still are talking about four tenses. Present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present. Questions? Come on, there's so many questions that you can tell with me. No? Okay, let's do one practice then in the four tenses. Um, let me look for the information question or do you remember the information questions? What, what time, where, when, why, who, whose, who with, what kind of, which, what is the other one? Which, uh, which, how, how many, how many times, how long, wait, how fast, how long, how often? See, I know all the information questions. Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan de todas las, las preguntas de información? Very important for you to know. Muy importante para que se las aprenda, okay? See? 
what, what time, yeah. where, when, why, who with, no, who, who's, who with, which, what kind of, and so on. Okay, so let me look for them and then we can practice. Um, give me one verb. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ninette, give me one verb so we can practice. Okay. Uh, pero es con el, con el was, o no lo entendí, perdón. We're going to practice the four tenses. Acuérdense que estamos ya, ya uh -huh. en este momento deben de, de, de manejar bien cuatro tiempos. Present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present. Cuatro tiempos okay. que deben de manejar ya. So, eso es lo que vamos a practicar, ¿ok? So, okay. give me a verb. Deme un verbo. Um, eat. No, oh, that's too easy. Muy fácil. No, I want something. Um, <laughs> no, eh, study. Eh, no. Okay, um, let's see. Daniel, do you have a verb? Um, visit. visit. Very good. Visit. Okay. Present continuous, visiting. Simple future, going to visit. A simple past, visited. And simple present, visit. Okay? So, Question number one. Uh, Teacher, repeat me. Yeah? Repeat me. Okay, what, what, what? Can you repeat me? Okay, um, what I was saying. Oh, the, remember that we're, we're practicing? We're going to practice, uh, what is the verb? Easy. 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 In, in simple future, I mean, in present continuous is visiting. Hey guys, listen, listen. Can somebody put put your microphone off? Yeah, very good, microphone off. Um, so what I was telling you is that we're going to practice visit, the verb visit. So in present continuous is visiting. In simple future is going to visit. In simple past is visited. And in simple present is visit. Got it, Camaliel? Yes. I got good, it. good, good. You. Okay, let's begin. Question number one. What is question number one? In present continuous. The general question, general question. Come on. Come on, guys. That tell me that you're not, you're not reading, you're not um, studying. No me están estudiando. Come on. General question for present continuous. What are you doing? What are you doing? Everybody, everybody what are you doing? What are you, what doing? are you doing? What are you doing, everybody? What, what are you what doing? Are you, are you doing? doing? Good. You doing? So the answer would be I am visiting my parents. Good. I'm visiting my parents, everybody. I'm visiting, I'm visiting my parents. 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 Good. Question number two. Wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, wait, wait. We're not going to do all questions because look at the time. We only have 10 minutes. I hope, I, I wish we could have more time, but I, I, we have 10 minutes only. Okay, let's do a simple future question. Present continuous. I mean, simple future, uh, the general question. What, what are you going do? to do? What are you going to do, everybody? What are, what are you going to do? 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 The answer? Hi. I'm going to visit I'm my house. I'm going to no visit. I'm going, I'm going to visit. My parents. Everybody. My parents. Oh. I'm going to visit my I'm parents. Going to visit my, parents. my parents. My parents. Yes, I'm going to visit my parents. My parents. I'm, I'm going, going to visit, visit my, my parents. parents. My parents. Good. A uh, simple pass. General question. What, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do, everybody? 
What did you do? 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 Good. What is the answer? I I did my parents. I visited 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 my parents. My parents. My parents. Question in in simple present. General question. What do you do? What, what do, do you do? What, what do, you do? do you do? What do you do? Everybody. What, what do you do? do, you do? What, do you do? Do. what do you do? 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 The answer? I visit my parents. I visit my parents. I visit my parents. I visit my parents. My parents. No parents, 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 my parents, I visit my parents, parents, I visit my parents. Okay, we got the four, four general questions present continuous, simple future, simple passive. Now let's practice it. Present continuous first. Noe, what are you doing? Noe, what are you doing? I am studying English. What? No. Uh, I the, am with, studying English. No, 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 no. With the same, the, with the same. same. Oh, the I'm visiting my parents. Oh, okay, okay. I, I am visiting my parents. Good. No, eh, ask Angel. The same question. The general question. Um, ask Angel. Uh, do you to do? Mm -mm -mm. The same one. Present continuous. Angel, what are you doing? Ah, oh, what, what do you... Ah, uh, too much time. Angel, what are you doing? I am visiting my parents. Oh. Good. Angel, ask Daniel. Uh, Daniel, what are you doing? I visiting my parents. No, no, I am. Um, so it's contraction um. with I am. Contracted, I'm um, visiting my parents. One more time, Daniel. I'm visiting my parents. Good. Ask Carla Cano. Carla Cano, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Daniel, what are you doing? Doing emphasis on ing. What are you doing? One more time, please. What are you doing? Very good. I'm visiting my parents. Good. Ask Gamaliel. Gamaliel. What are you doing? I'm visiting my parents. Good. Camaliel, ask Rodrigo. Rodrigo, what are you doing? I visited my parents. No, no, I am. Remember, it's I am, but contractado. I'm, I'm, I'm visiting my parents. One more time. I'm visiting my parents. Visiting, visiting my parents. One more time. I visited my parents. No, I. I'm, I'm visiting my parents. Sorry, sorry. I'm visiting my parents. Okay. There you go. But you're getting it. Okay. Ask, ask uh, Jose, for favor. Jose, what are you doing? I'm visiting my parents. Ask Ninette. Where are you going? I'm visiting my parents. Good. Ask Carlos Alvarado. Carlos, what are you doing? I'm visiting my parents. Parents, parents. I'm visiting my parents. I'm visiting my parents. Uh, more or less, but it's good. Ask Carla Trento. <laughs> Carla, what are you doing? I is, um, visiting my parents. One more time, please. Um, Visiting my parents. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go for number two, simple future. What is the general question? What are you going to do? Very good. Noe, what are you going to do? I am going to visit my parents. Good, I'm going to visit my parents. Noe, ask Angel. Angel, what are you going to do? 
I'm going to visit it, my parents. No, visit it. I'm going to visit my parents. I'm going to visit my parents. Good. Ask Daniel, please. Daniel, uh, what are you going to do? I visit to my parents. I'm going to visit my parents. Pay attention, Daniel. I'm going to visit my parents. One more time. I'm going to visit my parents. No. No, I. I am. 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 Es contracción de I am. I'm going to visit my parents. I'm going to visit my parents. Good. Ask Carla. Carla Cano. Carla, what are you going to do? I'm going to visit my parents. Good. Ask Gamaliel. Gamaliel, what are you going to do? I'm going to visit my parents. Ask Rodrigo. Rodrigo, what are you going to do? I'm going to do? One more time, please. What are you going to do? I'm going Rodrigo. to visit my parents. Good. Ask Jose. Jose, what are you going to do? I'm going to do my visit my parents. No, no, no. I'm going to visit my parents. One more time, please. I'm going to visit my parents. Good. Ask Ninette. Ninette, what are you going to do? I'm, I'm going to visit my parents. Ask Carlos, please. Carlos, what are you going to do? No, one more time, Ninette. Carlos, what are you going to do? I'm going to visit my parents. Parents, parents. My parents. Good. Ask Carla Torrento. Carla, what are you going to do? I'm going to visit my parents. One more time, Carla. I'm going to visit my parents. I'm I... going to visit my parents. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to visit my parents. Good. And Carla dice, I... <laughs> No, don't worry. Hey, listen, listen, guys. Please don't feel um, like like mad when I correct you. Como les dije anteriormente, no se sientan mal si los corrijo, okay? Please. No. Okay. Good. So we're going to okay. number three. Okay. A general question for number three. What did you do? What, what did, did you, you do? do? Everybody. What? What, what, did, you what do? did you do? Did you do? Very good. And the answer is. I visited my I parents. I visited my parents. I visited my parents. I visited. I visited, I visited my, my parents. parents. Visited. Visited. Visited my parents. I visited. Okay, I Noé, what did you do? I visited my parents. Good. Noé, ask Angel. Oh, what did you do? I'm, I visited my parents. That's Daniel. Daniel, what did you do? I visited my parents. Ask Carla Cano. Carla, what did you do? I visited my parents. Good. Parents, parents, parents. Okay, Carla. parents. Carla, ask Rodrigo, please. Rodrigo, what did you do? I visited my parents. Good. Ask Gamaliel. Gamaliel, what did you do? I visited my parents. Ask Jose. Jose, what did you do? I, vis I visited my parents. Ask Ninette. What did you do? I visited my parents. No. I, I visited my parents. I visited my parents. Ask Carlos. Carlos, what did you do? I visited my parents. Ask Carla, please. Carla Torrento. Carla, what did you do? I uh, um, visited my parents. I. I, I visited, I visited, I my, visited parents. my parents. Good. So what is the general question for the simple present? What do you do? What do you do? Everybody, what do you do? 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 And what is the answer? 
I visit my parents. I visit my parents. I visit my parents. I visit my parents. Good. Okay, there's no more time. Sorry, guys. So I'll see you tomorrow, next, next class. And please uh, try to practice, you know, the four tenses with questions, please. Because tomorrow we're going to practice again, okay? Okay. okay. Sure, sure. See you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Teacher. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good, good night. Tomorrow. Happy Teacher's Day. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Happy teacher day. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Okay.